back with another video on how to emulate a game on a game console. Last time I did this, I did a PS2 using PCSX2. I showed you how to add cheats. I will show you more on that later, but this time I'm going to start something new with the which is a GameCube emulator and also Wii emulator. This is um, for example, I'm going to use Sonic Riders for GameCube. This will the same thing applies to if you're using Wii. If uh, unless you're talking about Wii mode settings, of course, that's something different. I'm not sure. I don't have any Wii games in mind that I would uh, emulate, but if you guys need it, I will talk about it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you what's basically what Dolphin is basically about, and you know, later on in the video, I'll show you how to add cheats as well. <clears throat> For this example, I'm gonna use Sonic Riders, by the way, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can get one or where you can get it. Anyway, so this is just a frame limit. Keep it all the same. Whatever it is, keep it the same. Except here, where it says enable cheats, click that and make sure it's enabled because you will need it for later on in this video if you want to use cheats, of course. If you don't want to use cheats, then yeah, obviously don't enable it. Okay, then the next thing you want to do, yeah, um, basically keep all this the same unless you speak another language. In that case, don't watch this video. And then, uh, yeah, basically keep all this the same. Excuse me. Uh, just burp. I'm going to go to graphics. I recommend Direct3D 11 because it's the most updated one. Yeah, use full screen. Make sure that's checked. I keep the show, uh, show FPS checked just to make sure what it uh what it may what the fps is currently 60 by the way if you guys don't know this 60 fps is the best one you can have it's as if you were playing it on the actual system that's how good 60 fps is but yeah everything else leave the same as enhancements packs all that leave the same then we have the gc pad which is basically you can customize it yourself like for me i didn't even change much all I did was uh, change the up button to up because it was a different one. I don't know why. Anyway, yeah. Okay, now we're here adding cheats. So all you gotta do is click right click on your game, click properties, then go to AR codes. I already have the master code, and you might need it, you might not. But if you're, if you need it, I would recommend putting it in there anyway. If you need it or don't, and then. All you have to do is click add, enter the name, and we'll go on my uh, cheat site. Here we are, infinite rings. And you don't even have to type the encrypted code. All you really have to do, there we go, I'll just move it over here. All you really have to do is go here, control C. Control V, you can click OK, and there it is. There's the code right there. And that's all for this video today. Hope you guys uh, liked it. And if you did, click like. Uh, comment if you need, like I said, if you need uh, the Sonic Heroes in the description, if you want that, or if you want me to make a video about the Wii, uh, Wii part of the emulator. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty much the same thing as this one. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you want more, and see you. Oops, hold on.